A man has admitted killing a charity cyclist in remote woods in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, let's talk to our Scotland correspondent, Colin Gillis. He's at the High Court in Glasgow with more. Colin, this is a, a curious case, isn't it? Just talk us through what's happened and what's happened in court today. Well, we were expecting the trial to get underway here at the High Court in Glasgow uh, over the course of this week. But in the last few minutes, breaking news, uh, there has been a significant development. This is the case of 63-year-old Tony Parsons, a man who arrived in Fort William at the foot of Ben Nevis uh, to begin what would be a very fateful journey, a journey that would have taken him on 103 miles, snaking through the spine of Scotland from the Highlands right the way back to his home in Clackmannanshire in the Tillacultry area. Uh, now, this was in September of 2017. Uh, Tony Parsons was last seen on CCTV making his way on that slow journey through very remote wooded parts of the Scottish Highlands to a place called Bridge of Orkey. And at that stage, uh, the allegation was that he was uh, mowed down by uh, a man known as Alexander McKellar. And there was then a series of crimes that unfolded from there on in. Allegations of a cover-up, allegations of uh, a killing. And that was what the court here was expecting uh, to listen to over the course of the next couple of weeks. But in the last few minutes, Alexander McKellar has admitted, uh, while being under the influence of drink or drugs, to uh, hitting Tony Parsons with his vehicle in that remote wooded area at uh, very late on at night, uh, then uh, proceeding to dig a grave at a nearby farm uh, and covering up those crimes for more than three years. Uh, the co-accused in this case was also facing a murder charge. His brother, uh, a man known as Robert McKellar, now it was accepted by prosecutors here that, uh, that uh, Robert McKellar did not uh, cause the killing, did not murder the victim in this case, uh, and that was accepted. So we have a case here of a man who, uh, while under the influence of drink or drugs, mowed down this charity cyclist who was taking part in that very dangerous and difficult trek through Scotland, uh, who came to a very, very tragic end. And rather than call police or attempt to get any sort of medical attention, police activity on that area, those brothers proceeded to cover up those crimes for a period of three years. All the while, emergency services were frantically looking for Tony Parsons. Uh, mountain rescue teams in really dangerous parts of the world there, dangerous and difficult terrain. Uh, all the while, that was in vain because uh, Alexander McKellar knew fine well what had happened to uh, Tony Parsons. He was laying in a grave that had been dug at that farm uh, all the while, the family were going through that painful and tortured time uh, as they pleaded for the return of their loved one. Today, Alexander McKen McKellar admitted all of that, admitted killing and covering up these crimes, and he'll be sentenced here on Friday.